Welcome back to my channel. This is Ingenious Giacomo and today actually I'm weatherproofing a ring. The thing completely stopped working a few days ago. It was just uh, first I see the light partially on. I went to plug it in, no sign of life. It would say it's disconnected and looked like it was getting no power. I plug in the charger, same issue, wasn't taking a charge at all. So I open it. Uh, I thought maybe it was a bad connector, but before I, I ruled it out, before I open it actually, I woke up a transformer, a uh, 24 volt transformer to the base and I plug it in, same result. So clearly it was the battery. I already ordered a battery on eBay, thinking the battery was bad, but it was not the battery because we had a very big, um, what do you call it, rainstorm? I guess some moisture got in it and looked like the contacts on the little battery were kind of oxidated so I took it out I clean them and I start working right away I have another battery like I said coming I was lucky enough to find one on eBay for ten dollars including free shipping it's not brand new but the guarantee has been working fine and honestly the, those batteries last for a very long time it's a 5000 ma milliampere is a um, lithium ion I presume uh, and um, anyway, I ordered it, but the battery didn't come in yet. But uh, it's working now. It looks like it's taking a charge. Uh, so there's the back cover. Taking apart the ring was pretty easy. There is like, um, that was just for testing, by the way. We removed those wires. I'm still gonna run it on battery. There is uh, those screws in the back. Uh, two are hidden under the little, so four screws on the little cover. Uh, there is two screws right underneath and then there is uh, two more so a total I think of six tiny screws and the two in the bottom holding the, on the um, on the mounting plate who's right here there is two screws so that should that's my back cover it goes like this so it's working fine now what I will do though I weatherproof it uh, just to make sure that doesn't happen this thing actually can be easily peeled off the thing is great is a liquid electrical tape is a vinyl it's a kind of strong smelling i will put a mask on it normally i use it outside i use it when i do like pool pumps things like that it's very good because it's watertight uh, and um, it's really flexible technically you can see it is like uh, it makes like a see peel off but the good thing about it on something like that it will bind to it and protect my circuits from moisture of course I don't put it on the little contacts I put it mainly on the battery terminal and I will clean the um, charging port uh, I guess it was a little oxidated because I did wiggle a little the charger to make it work that's it then I close it back up and I'm ready to go thank you again for watching this is ingenious Giacomo please subscribe in a second I show you I'm um, putting on this sadly I don't have three hands I wish I did but um, I will put the liquid tape and show you the final results, results before I cover my ring. Okay, that's uh, my ring after I coat it with the um, liquid electrical tape. The cheapest place to buy is Walmart. Home Depot and Lowe's actually have it. I think it's available in different colors actually. Uh, so anyway, the only thing I was really careful is to see where this button is. Is the one to reset and link it. Uh, is right there so I was very careful not to put too much around that but it's flexible so it will give me no problem about like I said this thing is like a, an electrical tape it just it makes it technically weatherproof mainly the contacts over the batteries so you know those rings are technically weatherproof but they really are not I know there's some moisture I guess because of such a heavy rain I guess wind blowing and some moisture right inside it created a problem with my battery now Everything's to be working fine. I do have a spare battery coming just in case, but I will close it back up. I think we are ready to roll. Uh, and that's it. I mean, the thing is working clearly. It's taking a charge. I disconnected and it was uh, fully charged. So that's it. So I weatherproof my ring. I will put it back together and show you a picture once I'm done. So my ring is back together, as you can see, actually it's working, it's very easy, like I said, these four screws are visible, two on top, two on the bottom, really, I mean, just lose them, you don't even need to remove them completely to get out, uh, those are mainly to hook it up to the 
charging base, mounting base. So those four screws come first, two underneath, and then we have two more on top. So that's it. Uh, you can see a little of the, the black stuff I put, the liquid electrical tape sticking out. Uh, I was gonna order a cover, but you know, that's crazy. It's, it's, it's start at $15 for a little plastic thing. I will make my own, you know, that's, um, that's probably gonna come up with something, probably use one of those weather tight container. Uh, I see what I come up with, but that, that will be probably part of another video. So anyway, I used liquid electrical tape and I cut all the back, the motherboard to make sure the, there is no more issue. If there is moisture going in and mainly oxidating the contact going to the battery. Um, these one are pretty good, look like they didn't suffer too much. I'm probably gonna do an hard wiring job. That's the transformer I'm gonna use, put in a mounting bo a little box, electrical box and run 120 to it. This can work actually in 120 to 40. It's used for air conditioning. It's only like 10, $12 wholesale, you know, uh, yeah, in China. That's yeah, that's a 40, uh, it's called, yeah, 24 volt, volt AC alternator current. It's a 40 VA, it's called, yeah, I think it's only 12 bucks, pretty much, if you... Anyway, this is my little screw assortment from, um, a screwdriver assortment from mini screwdriver from uh, Arbor Freight, $10 for the old kit with all those different bits. Very helpful with that. So my bell is working. It's back, uh, once it's back home and back into my network, it's fine. It was not showing anything, technically it was dead. It wouldn't do anything. That is a doornail, it wouldn't take a charge. So back to life. It didn't cost me really anything. I already had that. And I just want to avoid future problems. So that's why I went with the uh, coating in the back to prevent oxidation of the battery contacts. That's it. Thank you for watching. This is Ingenious Giacomo. And please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And uh, let's look forward to a few more videos. Bye.